Hello and welcome to Let Me Bore You to Sleep. It is Sunday the 6th of May 2024. Um, my name's Jason Newland. Did I tell you that yet? I don't know. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. And my website is letmeboreyou.com. My main podcasts are on SoundCloud. However, this podcast, Let Me Bore You Sleep, is hosted on SoundCloud. But the podcast is also on the letmeboreyou.com. So all the latest recordings are on there. It's, it's basically a podcast website, if that makes sense. And I'll be telling you a little bit more about that in a second or so. Um, if you'd like to support this free service, then please uh, you can send me a PayPal gift. I've actually got a support me page now on on my website. And so I've kind of got seven different things, seven ideas what you can do to support me if you if you want to. So here are a few, it's basically support me. That's that's the link at the top of the page. Or in the that's what's in the index or navigation or for whatever you call it here are a few ways that you can support support this free service number one paypal there's a link to the paypal address then you got number two like and share the podcast and its episodes onto your social media such as facebook and twitter and things like that and number three share this website onto social media Number four, leave positive comments on podcast episodes. Number five, join Jason Newland's Boring Group. There's a link to that. Number six, subscribe to this podcast. And number seven, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And there's a link to that as well. So there's just a few things you can do to support me if you want to, you know. So uh, I thought I'd put that page together because it's a few little ideas and if you used to share my latest podcast onto your Facebook page, then you might be helping some other people out because they might discover me and think, I don't know, what did you think when you first heard me? I don't know, whatever if it's useful you know that's all just to reach a larger audience and oh I was getting started yawning with it. you know it always happened right from when I first started making recordings and videos back in 2006 I always start yawning always even when I did the live groups, like, you know, people in a room with me, I'd yawn. It is, I don't know why, it's just just an, a natural reaction. So, quickly go through the stats for the, the podcast. Uh, so yesterday for the... Uh, hypnosis is sleeping deeply yesterday got 10,628 plays and today so far it's half past four so still seven and a half hours left uh, so far I got 14,675 plays so it's you know pretty good day today on that one and on the actual podcast for this let me bore you to sleep it is and this is on soundcloud yesterday i got 
That's weird. What's it hype? Oh, I keep getting a pop up. It's not a euphemism. The pop up keeps coming onto the thing. 3,437 plays yesterday. And today, so far, 2,999. So, you know. But then on. Friday, no, Saturday, because it's Monday today, isn't it? I keep thinking it's Sunday, because Monday, because so it's bank holiday Monday in the UK of England, Britain, it's um, Commonwealth, it is, I don't know if it's May Day or if the bank holiday at the end of May is May Day, but we get two bank holidays in May. One at the beginning, one at the end. One of them is May Day. Unless they're both May Day. I mean, technically, every day of the month is May Day, isn't it? It's a day in May. It's a May Day. Yeah, anyway. Um, and that's it. So the next thing is to look at the YouTube stats. <laughs> oh, blimey. So... I'm getting uh, see this is the thing I, I problem with being honest so it doesn't make me look very good so the last 48 hours I've had 66 plays of my videos on YouTube 66 but today's uh, video for yesterday's podcast, one one thousand one hundred and twelve. Let me bore you to sleep. Sea cadets. I've had seventeen views. Yesterday's pet peeves had eight views. Day before that, nineteen. Day before that, twelve. Day before that, thirty. S yeah. Day before that, sixteen. 12, 12, 33, 22. So yeah, I've been uploading one every day since the 27th of April. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 days in a row. Which that means I've been making... No, really? Have I really done 10 recordings in a row? Oh, looks like I have. That's phenomenal. Everyone ready? All together? There's a hero. And his name is Jason. New land. So yeah, so that's YouTube. Uh, I, I mentioned yesterday, if you might not have heard the recording yesterday, but I... I've deleted all the recordings, all the videos, except Let Me Boy to Sleep and those in the Let Me Boy to Sleep family, such as, I can't remember, just, uh, Sleepy Boring Objects, Jason's Bedtime Story Time, ASMR, Let Me Boy to Sleep, and Let Me Boy Your Pain Away. So that they're the kind of the, they're the babies that have been produced from the let me boy to sleep channel or podcast so i'll get rid of youtube that's gone what i've done is i'll come back to this in a minute oh well i, w I went to i was up early hours in the morning on sunday morning yesterday morning watching the boxing and it was a big, big boxing match. Um, so I was I was watching that, and I got up early hours, and I missed a lot of the the bill, but I managed to watch the main fight and half of the last one before that. And it was a really good fight. It's a really good one. And then this morning. There was another world title fight with Inui, who is the, they call him the, the monster. And he's Japanese, and he is a four-weight world champion. 
and he's been the unified world champion in two different weights. There's only one other person that's achieved that, and that is Terence Crawford, I do believe. So the good thing about this is instead of like with American fights where it starts at one or two in the morning, the like the actual show itself and the main the main fight might not be on until five or six in the morning. The show started at nine in the morning. Nine in the morning. I mean how how perfect is that? You know, on a bank holiday Monday, I guess they they timed it so that the people outside of Japan could watch it because it was in the evening in Japan. And the last I watched his last few fights actually, and he generally fights in Japan. In it, there was fifty five thousand people in the stadium. And he's an absolute king out there. He's, he's a big hero. And he is, pound for pound, one of the best boxers in the world. It's really between him and Terence Crawford. Um, potentially, I suppose, Canelo. Uh, there's a few, to be honest. There's a few. But he's he's amazing. But I'm not going to spoil it because you might not have watched it yet. But he did get knocked down in the first round. So I've just spoiled it, sorry. Got knocked down in the first round. Which had never gone down before. Um, anyway, I'm not going to spoil it by telling you who won and, or anything like that. So it was a really good, really good fight. I mean, the others were good, but this was just... It was superb. It was a very superb fight. So it was a re it was a nice a nice morning. I woke up quite early, like I normally do, and I did the editing for yesterday's recording. Did all that stuff. Okay, it takes a while to do. Edit it, process to upload it. They made a video, I made an image, uh, did the descriptions, which meant uploading, downloading a recording, uploading it to uh, a transcriber service that I use, which is 20 quid a month or something. How much is that? Let's have a look. TurboScribe I use. I'm just have a look. I'm not sure how much it is account settings, manage subscription, manage subscription, update plan. Your plan will be cancelled on the tenth. Okay, renew plan. Okay. The thing is, I need it. I can't transfer. It, it, to transcribe a two hour recording that this does would take me put about 10 hours maybe longer I couldn't do it I mean I could do it but it it take me probably about a week because I couldn't just sit there listening and then typing out and then listening keep rewinding and believe me I've done that in the past when I used to be a counsellor in training, we had to record all 100 hours of our recordings. The first 100 hours of our sessions all had to be recorded. We didn't have to transcribe all of them, but as part of coursework, we did have to transcribe some of them. And it took forever. It really was a tedious task. Well, this transcription is about 99% accurate. It might be even higher than that, actually. But it's $20 a month. 
next payment is 10th of May. So what the accuracy is, I think it's 99. Oh, come on. 90. Oh, no, it's, that's because I've turbo scribe. Oh, it's because I've come out of it, that's why. So if I go back and just click on Turbo Scribe, 99.8% uh, accuracy. 98 plus languages, up to 10 hour uploads, unlimited minutes, speaker recognition, private and secure. So it's not sharing my stuff out there. So what it can do is it transcribes it. In fact, I've transcribed over the last, I don't know, a few months now that I've had this, I've transcribed every single Let Me Boy to Sleep recording that I've ever done or that I still have available. I know I lost about 14, I think, along the way, maybe more, but I've got most of them. All transcribed and then out of the transcription I did tell you I did say yesterday I was going to go through the process this is part of the process out of the transcription I can then go to chat GP so I upload it I upload it to transcribe uh, so I open the dashboard apparently it's got one one million two over a million transcriptions um, about 3,000 of mine and you know years ago there was this transcription service that said unlimited so I took it for its word it wasn't a great service but it was good for then this is probably maybe four or five years ago so I started transcribing my recordings and they issued me with a bill for about £300. I said, hello? It was just an email, but it's like, what? They said, yeah, you've, you've overused our generosity or something like that. You've, you've used too much. Uh, you weren't supposed to be uh, transcribing hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of stuff. You transcribed over 200 hours or something like that. 100 hours and that's way too much and I said well you didn't tell me that he said well you didn't ask and I had this go, go back and forward with this person who was in charge of the company apparently he was the boss and eventually he said uh, we we settled on I paid him a, I paid him some money but then said like okay and I won't use the service again now that's it and he just accepted that so I've been a bit dubious which is a word I don't generally use because um, I don't know what it means and uh, I've been a bit dubious about using services that offer unlimited stuff like TurboScribe when it when I first discovered it and I searched for it did research to find a transcription service that not only was good but also was you know unlimited literally unlimited not like well unlimited but there's a limit no unlimited is unlimited that's as simple as that it's like me saying oh you can you can listen to unlimited amount of my recordings in a year as long as it doesn't go over 50. You know, it's just ridiculous. So I I used this, I transcribed quite a bit, but I took my time. I still haven't transcribed all of my other recordings, but I've got a lot of stuff transcribed and it's saved on there. And the quality is really good, and it's AI, so it's it's basically an A is driven by art, artificial intelligence, and it's kind of got to know my my wording, and it's kind of got to know 
not got to know me, but it's it's good. So it's, it's I just like it. It's a good service. Turboscribe. Dot AI. I was just thinking. I wonder if it is AI, but then it, the web address is dot AI. So I guess it is. It's um, actual intelligence. So what I do is I upload it. It transcribes it, which takes, I don't know, 10 minutes, 20 minutes sometimes. Depends on how big the file is. Two hours of recording to transcribe. It took a while to upload. That's an internet thing. And then the transcription is there in. And that can take maybe five, ten minutes. And but I don't go for speed. There's three different ways you can do it. So let's have a look. I'll show you. I can let's say I click on transcribe a file. You got cheetah, which is the fastest, cheetah as in the animal. Dolphin, which is balanced. It's kind of balances accuracy and speed. And you got the whale which is the most accurate and all of these services are powered by whisper which is a, a whisper which is part of the open ai which produces chat gpt and sora sora has not been released yet but so it's, it's a good old thing the cheetahs powered by whisper base and base.n whatever that is that's the basic one, I guess. Dolphin is powered by Whisper Small. The whale, or the whale, is TurboScribe's highest accuracy model mode, powered by the massive 1.55 billion parameters Whisper Large AI model. So I use the whale. I could use a cheetah and it'd be a lot quicker. The well is it does it it's more accurate I guess self-explanatory because I've already said it's more accurate but you know it is uh, I mean yesterday's one is 1 minute 56 seconds duration and I've not looked at it to be honest with you I've not looked at it at all open transcript Uh, what? Hello and welcome to Let Me Boy to Sleep. My name, Yordi Pence. What? what? I didn't say Yordi Pence, did I? My name is Jason Newland. My website is letmeboyu.com. That, that is my podcast website. The main website, or the podcast rather, the main podcast is hosted on SoundCloud. But it is also available on most of the main podcast hosts. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. And it says, Iffy is under the table. Iffy. So I'm saying Vinny. Or I might have mumbled. To be, if I mumble, which I guess I do sometimes. Sometimes. Um, then it just can't pick it up. He's under the table eating his dinner. He's so lazy, so lazy. I put his dinner in a bowl next to his water, which is under the television. It's not under. Okay, I can buy. So it's it's pretty good. There's a few little bits that it misses out, and I can correct it. You know, I can just change how it is written, which is easy enough to do. Um, how do I do that though? All right, okay, yeah. So I have I did it when I first got it, but now I don't bother because at the moment I don't need to. So what I do, so this is, wow. It's also time stamped as well. So you can see every single where I said everything. And I wonder how many files, how many pages was in it. So, let's to open it up. How many pages?
That's weird. 25 pages. Blimey. So yesterday's recording, could you believe that? 25 pages. And I tell you what it stopped doing. It stopped with the... It did the... Yeah, it had full stops. And then it just went into me talking. For the last... From 18 to 25, it's... Maybe it's because... I am a Londoner that I love London town maybe because there's no sensical stop to what I'm saying maybe that's what it is because I'm just talking and it doesn't know when the full stops are supposed to be oh well so I download that and then I go to chat GPT which again is 20 US dollars a month so I'm on there manage my subscription that's weird manage my subscription come on what are you doing my plan the internet's going very slowly very very slow indeed it says open AI so it renews on the 9th of May $24 a month why has it gone to oh, they've added tax to it I guess it was $20 now it's $24 I've had it since okay when did I first get it Cause, uh, chat GPT hasn't been around a long time but I got it as soon as it came out although I did miss a month so I got it in March 2023 and it was $20 and then, then after that it was $24 so I guess I don't know why so April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December 2023. So the whole of the year from March onwards. And then I missed out January. Had it for February till March. And then I missed out March. And got it again in April. So I'm not quite sure. I just, yeah, I just had to cancel it. Uh, for that for that period so what I do is this I oh go back go back okay I'll tell you exactly what I do see cadet podcast oh okay so I, I upload the pod the PDF file weird name for a, a, a word document I know PDF, don't say it too quick. Um, and then next to it, I say, please, because you can upload like Word documents and stuff like that. Please read PDF file of podcast transcription and give me a detailed podcast description. Also create 20 individual tag words side by side, easy to copy and paste into SoundCloud so it's not to be fair it doesn't go into detail detail but it's a, a basic description of the podcast so it says here the podcast episode 1112 sea cadets let me bore you to sleep 5th of may 2024 is a relaxation and storytelling session hosted by jason newland he shares humorous and nostalgic anecdotes providing a soothing and sleeping atmosphere his personal stories about the sea cadets his dog of and boxing create an informal ambience that's both engaging and relaxing now i'll accept it because that's what chat gbt has 
getting from reading through it. So I'm not writing this stuff about myself. It just it feels weird to write that I'm engaging and I'm relaxing and humorous and stuff like that. I'd rather someone else say it. So ChatGBT does it. While discussing these various topics, Newland, not a big fan of being called Newland, if I'm honest, ensures to maintain a gentle tone to guide listeners to sleep. I don't. I just talk normally. He mixes personal insights with light humour to create light humour, hilarity, more like, to create a sense of connection, making it suitable for those seeking a comforting audio companion. So that's what it writes. So I just... Whatever it writes is fine. It's, it never writes anything bad. I really should read it through uh, more often. Not a big fan of being called Newland. Because that's why I used to get called at school. Newland. Like. Newland. Peter Alzon. Newland. What are you doing on the floor? Why are you acting like a pig? Why are you, why are you just running around the floor like a pig? Newland. Don't eat your dinner off the toilet. Uh, teachers. Um, so I, and then the suggested tags, relaxation, sleep, hypnosis. Again, the tags aren't great because, well, I mean, relaxation. But it does talk about some of the things I mentioned, like, like nostalgia, I guess, because I'm talking about the past. Storytelling, humor, cigarettes, boxing, meditation. I don't remember talking about meditation. Podcasting, soothing voice, guided meditation, which is it is not. Bedtime story. I guess kind of like a bedtime story if I'm if the someone is in bed listening to me and I'm telling a story. So I guess it's kind of like a bedtime story. Maybe, unless it's just referring to me talking about the Jason's bedtime story time and then it's self care peaceful, calm gentle, sleep aid mental health so what I do then cut and paste or copy and paste rather, copy and paste into the podcasts the new podcast episodes Um. So that's two bits of AI that I use that help me with that. Because I genuinely, I don't, un, I don't remember what I've talked about. Uh, it's, it's hard to explain, but you know, I wake up in the morning. That's not hard to explain. I mean, it's a standard, you, you get up out of bed. Yeah, I know. So that I'm not trying to explain how I wake up in the morning, but when I come in here and I take the the disc card thing out of the recording studio, whistled then recording studio, and I put it into the extension connection that then goes into the iPad. I do the editing on the iPad. So I look onto the disc. And what I do first of all is I copy the name of yesterday's recording and then change the name of the recording on the disc and then change the details. So if it was the 6th of December, I'll change it to the 7th of December, you know, for example, if it's the next day. And then I change the number from 1,111 1, to 1,112. But then it's changed the name, the title. And I genuinely don't always remember what I've spoken about. Like not one bit. I really was wrecking my toenails over it yesterday. Or this morning rather. I just could not remember 
what I talked about. And then I started thinking, oh, I, I, I mentioned boxing. I did talk about boxing. And then I'm thinking, uh, what was the title I did in the end? Huh? It's terrible, isn't it? I wonder. Well, 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 wonder why. Oh, sea cadets. Okay, yeah. So I talked about the sea cadets for a fair bit, and I thought, okay, I'll call it sea cadets. I I kind of have a vague memory of talking about the sea cadets, but I don't remember what I've spoken about because. Nothing really. Um, nothing ever happens. Nothing happens at all. Nothing. Yeah, generally, unless I've got an idea of what I intend to talk about, I don't really always remember what I have spoken about. Because once I've talked about it, it's gone. It's saved on the disc and it's out of my mind, out of my head. Which is good, really. Although I had some weird dreams last night. I had some weird, weird dreams. And what was it I was thinking about? I was talking about something. I keep banging the table. I was talking about something on a podcast and then I started dreaming about it I can't remember what it was yeah I don't remember but I was proper having a proper old dream so yeah this morning I just I put the title Sea Cadets and then I made the three did four different versions of the recording and once they was uploaded I then post the description and the tag words into each individual podcast episode the description and the tag words so that would generally come up on I guess wherever you listen to the podcast I guess I'm not 100% sure uh, it's supposed to be good for search engines but I don't know if it is or not I mean there is I don't think we could do it on this one but there are places where you can upload a transcript I think you can do it with YouTube. Doesn't it allow it on on SoundCloud. Advanced? No. Permission. Metadata. I don't I never mess with the metadata. I don't touch nothing. Just leave it as it is, man. Leave it as it is. Uh, basic information right I mean I suppose I could admit I don't want to mess with the RSS feed or anything like that let's leave it so in the descriptions of the recording to give you an example not only is there the information I've already read you but it reads support me and there's a PayPal thing my website, netlyboardysleep.com, so that's two links. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. These recordings are not a replacement for professional medical treatment. Get permission from your medical specialist before listening to any hypnosis recordings or watching any hypnosis videos. And then deep relaxation so that's the Kevin McLeod 
in combatech.com this is the background the information about the background music on the podcast and this is the information that I have to post that I try and post I post it on the begin on the, the main part of the website uh, the podcast you know on the actual podcast page I try and post it on every podcast episode as well uh, so uh, creativecommons.org license for uh, music with, promoted by free music be, be, uh, chosik.com so and then there's the information about the podcast episode so yeah so I do all that I try and it's, it's I guess none of it's really particularly complicated I mean I think we can probably all argue that it's not it's quite simple it does take a while yeah it's, uh, it takes quite a while to get it all done so yeah so I use AI for that I don't know what else there is I don't know what else there is I can tell you really I just had some potatoes, roast potatoes from the freezer and some fish cakes and some fish fingers. It was a weird mix. I think I preferred or rather enjoyed the potatoes more than the fish fingers. I'm thinking they might have needed I don't know if they really survived very well in the freezer for as long as they have been in there. I don't know. I may have a little look at the expiry date. So yeah, that's um, that's some of the stuff I do when it comes to sorting through and you know processing the each individual podcast episode so I'll get rid of the turbo scribe then there's my website letmeboreyou.com so I host that with uh, is this or what else so I put I just ooh ooh Right. So I host. Oh, okay. So I host it with pod, podcastpage.io. So this is where I, I host my. And it's basically, it's the Let Me Boy Sleep podcast. That's all it is on there, with a few different pages. So any any new recordings are on there. And I've I've been trying to update the pages. So there's the home page. So if you go on there, it's basically just the same as being on a podcast. It's a, it looks like a podcast, and you've got the latest recordings. You know, ten hours, five hours, music, no music, secrets, one thousand one hundred and twelve. Let me boy to sleep, and then you got the one from the day before that four different ones then you got four from the day before that and you just have to load when you want more you have to load load more and stuff like that so yeah so that's that's that there's uh yeah there is kind of the same description on each one which is a bit yeah it's not not great actually it doesn't look great because the description is different on each one but the first bit of the description is me saying about only only listen when you can safely close your eyes and these recordings are not a replacement. <laughs> However, that's the first page, the home page. Then you've got episodes, which is basically just pretty much the same as the home page, to be honest. Then you've got reviews. I've only got one review on here from April the 3rd, 2024. It's from 
U U M M M. No, it's from May Tilly. Um, is the headline of the of the message or the review? Um, it's a little too boring, if you ask me. But thank you. Um, just spelt two with just one z one o one zero one o. Yeah. Going to somewhere is T O. Something is too long is T O O. Sorry if that's too pedantic for you, but uh, and then there's a contact page. Send me an email, and that's it on there. Uh, this is like a form. Then I've got playlists, which just has a a link playlist for all podcasts and at the moment it takes you to all the playlists from the sleep and whatever it's called I always forget the name of it hypnosis for sleeping deeply so that's that and I've come back out of there then again what I've done for the to make sure that the background music is definitely promoted, I've got a link with background music written. And I click on there and it says that the background music in my podcasts is Deep Relaxation, Kevin McLeod, Incompetech.com and all the other stuff that was in that I'd already read earlier. So there's that. Next is Support Me. I've already read, gone through that one. Now, this next one is something that I've been meaning to do, but I knew it was going to be very, very time-consuming because it involves me searching, searching for um, my Let Me Boy to Sleep podcast. Because last year, before October... I had, was it October, was it the year before? I lose track, I really do lose track. Maybe it was, I can't remember. But whenever I was told I couldn't have music anymore, um, I had a, you know, a list of all the different podcast hosts where I was hosted and I'd been with them for years, years and years, six years or whatever, five years. And then suddenly it was all popped, just went, you know, the links were broken and people that used to listen couldn't listen anymore because I wasn't around. Um, well, I was around, but my podcasts weren't on the podcast host anymore because the links were broken or by God, I call it popped. So I've left it a few months and I've kind of gone through as many different, probably not all, but quite a few different podcast hosts and apps online to see if the Let Me Boy to Sleep podcast is on there. And I found one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Are you bar? Okay, and I'll start again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 26 different places where my podcasts are or my Let Me Boy to Sleep podcast is. Plus my website, letmeboyu.com. And so I've gone through, there are probably some others, but at the moment, I've found quite a few. So you've got SoundCloud. So I put basically just written, well, I typed in SoundCloud in bold, and then there's a link to the SoundCloud 
website, Let Me Board Your Sleep website, but it's the full address. So just in case the link doesn't work, you can copy and paste it and paste it into the the address bar and it will come up. I've done that with every one of these links. I just put the full link in, you know, HTTPS, blah, 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 blah. So that's weird. But I've checked them all to make sure they all work. So it's good. They do. So I've got SoundCloud, which is the main website. Um, I've, I've not got my website on there because this is on the website. Then Spotify, because part of the reason I did this today is because someone posted a comment saying uh, about the YouTube video. I'm glad you posted this because... I'm unable to get onto Spotify anymore or you're not on Spotify anymore well I am but it's just a case of uh, the, the the previous I think the previous podcast I had was like damaged or disconnected you know the same as before uh, so and it's the same with lots of different places they didn't have, although I was with them, and I'm uh, not with them, but I was part of their, I don't know what right word to say, furniture maybe, I don't know, part of their furniture, I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm far falling asleep talking about this, I... I really could do with a sleep. So, I started going through, what was I talking about furniture? I was literally, I was drifting off to sleep when I was talking just then. I'm not sure what I was talking about. I'm talking about furniture. Wow. This happens sometimes and I manage to pull it back to what I was talking about. But sometimes I just don't know what I've spoken about. Uh, so you got Spotify, Apple Podcasts, TuneIn, Podbean, Castbox, Radio, Dash UK, Deezer. Then I've got my YouTube channel on there as well. Uh, Antenna Pod, Anytime Player, Castomatic, Castro, CurioCaster. Fountain or Fountain, Google Pod, no, Good Pods, Luminary, Podcast Addict, Podcast Index, Podcast Guru, Podcast Republic, Pod Chaser, Pod Friend, Podverse, Sonnet, and Steno. So there's a few. A few few there. There's, I'm um, guessing, more probably out there that I've not uh, thoroughly done a huge research. But it did take quite a while to collect this lot. And now it's on the website. And under Find Me Online. Because I know that not everybody wants to use uh, the website. No, not everybody wants to use Spotify. Some people might want to use Amazon or they might want to use CastBox or, you know, whatever their favorite, whatever your favorite podcast app is. So there's quite a few to choose from on there. I was quite pleased with that, actually. Might sound weird, but I was. I was pleased that uh, I managed to collect, collect all that information and put it onto one page, make it very simple which is generally what I try to do with most aspects of my life. Make it simple. Uh, it's so easy right now just to go to sleep. Just to drift off. 
And you know what? I might do that because I think I'm. I don't, don't think I am. I know I'm tired. I'm boring myself to sleep, literally. And part of that reason might be. I don't know. I suppose. Yeah. I woke up early and then I went back to bed for a little while, but I didn't get much sleep because I, I needed to be up to watch the boxing and yeah oh, I'm tired I'm tired so this is going to be a, a much shorter record than the normal Unless, of course, you're listening to the 10-hour version, then it's going to be exactly the same length. Yeah, I feel I might need to have a little lie down. Maybe it's because I had something to eat shortly before making this recording. This. I'm not sure what I was talking about then. I was talking about eating before making a recording. I think so. <laughs> um, see, I'm, I'm drifting. Doesn't happen all the time, but it's happening today. I'm drifting off while I'm talking. Uh, maybe because it's too warm in here. Um, I don't know. But... I'm going to have a lie down. So thank you for listening. I mean, it's still an hour long, but it's just a bit shorter than normal. Well, it might not even be an hour long. It might be just less than an hour. Wow. You've been shortchanged, man. <laughs> shortchanged. I, I'm, I'm just embarrassed for myself. It's just wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. I should just do better. I really should. Yes. Uh. Oh. So. Oh yeah, also I make the images as well. So I have to do two different images. One, one I make the image and I use another. Uh, what is it? another AI this is an image generator called canva.com and they sent me a, a message saying that I'd made something like 3,000 images since I've been with them I've been with them for quite a while purchase history let's have a look purchase history 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 I don't say the date though if you don't say the date it doesn't purchase history all dates doesn't say the date why oh I used to use it on the free service because you can use it on the free service you see which is I don't know why I said it twice alright so I've, the first time I paid for it was December 2022 I paid £10.99 right and I've had a couple of yeah they did some discounts as well I cancelled it a couple of times so basically most months I've had it since then so was it December 2022 so two two years and a few months and the last it was 12.99 so it's not a lot of difference 10 nights has gone up by two pound so it's 12.99 that just went out a couple of days ago so what i do is this is also has ai connected and i not only do i make the image for the podcast episode that I make the final image on there not only that but I also make the YouTube video 
on here. So what I do is I copy and I look at yesterday's video and I feel so tomorrow morning or when I've done all the uploading and stuff like that uh, I will one of the last things I do is make a video for YouTube so I will go to this recording which is 1112 C cadets I click on the right hand side and I'll click make a copy so then I'll open it up I will upload the picture for the podcast which I'd already you know done so they're already gone so I'll have the two I have a picture there for and I use that for the podcast episode so that's in the right it's on the right hand side it takes up half of the image for the you for the YouTube video um, not template uh, thumbnail and then there's the there's a, a yellow bit with then there's a subscribe button you don't press it but it's just an image and then it's the number which is 1112 and then there's the picture the main podcast picture which is let me boy to sleep jason newland and a picture of Vinny with some white headphones and there's some stars in the sky so that's the podcast uh, main image and right onto the right of it is the the new image for the actual podcast episode so then i upload the so go to uploads and i upload because i can upload video audio and images i click on audio and i upload the audio now on this occasion today it was too long and too large so I had to, well, I needed to, in order for it to be processed, I uploaded it. And I now put it into, what's his name? Sheet. I don't know, I can't remember. I did something. So I upload the audio of the podcast episode. And it takes a little while. If if the recording is too large to upload to Canva, I have to resize it. So then I use Audacity. Upload it to Audacity. And then um, export it again on a lower frequency so it's a, a smaller file then upload it to Canva and then post it onto the new video having gotten rid of the, the day before's audio to make sure I don't do the same audio twice and then I make uh, you know I do the video picture the image so it's all the same length, the correct length. Then I download the image so that the thumbnail, video thumbnail, and then I download the actual recording. I'll leave that. Again, I'm not sure what I just said then. Sounds like it's a bird or a tap running. It's not the same thing though, is it really? But uh, I might go check that out. So it takes a while for it to process. So it downloads, and then when that's done, I upload it to YouTube and I add the thumbnail, fill in the information needed, and it's done. So, thank you for listening. <laughs> thank you for listening. Remember to be kind to yourself because you do deserve to be happy. Be gentle with yourself. Lots of love. <laughs>